come on. You gotta be kidding me. But flight attendant. Is there a problem, sir? I can't sit here. Why not? Because of them. Look, I have a very important interview as soon as the plane lands. I've got to rest, so I'm fresh for it. I can't do that if I'm stuck next to a stinky, screaming baby. Sir. No, no, don't, don't sir me, okay? Look, I've been a frequent flyer on this airline for years. I demand a different seat. I'm sorry. The flight is completely full. There's nothing I can do. Now, please, take your seat so we can close the cabin door for departure. <laughs> You know, you really don't have to worry. She's usually very quiet, and she'll probably just sleep through the whole flight. I seriously doubt that. Well, if you're really that worried, maybe it would help if we switched seats. If I'm in the aisle, I won't have to bother you when I get up to use the restroom to change her. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I prefer an aisle seat, and I paid extra money for this, okay? I'm not going to be inconvenienced by someone as inconsiderate as you. Inconsiderate? You know what else would you call someone who brings a baby on a plane and then tries to scam a better seat? We're just trying to get home. Yeah, well, you could have taken a train, perhaps a bus, ran out of the car, but oh no, instead you decided to inconvenience all these people with a screaming baby. That was not my intention. Well, sure it is. You're selfish and you're inconsiderate. What is it? Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? I'm really sorry. I, I, I just need to get out and change her diaper. It's too bad. Should have thought of that before the flight. Now leave me alone. I'm trying to sleep. Excuse me. I really need to get out. <sighs> it's just gonna happen. Look, you got to wait till we land, okay? Because I'm, I'm not gonna move. You, you can't do that. Yeah, watch me. Is there a problem over here? Yes, there is a problem. This woman won't let me sleep. I asked him politely if he could move. I need to get out and change my baby's diaper. That's too bad. That sounds like your problem, not mine. Actually, sir, airline regulations say you have to let her out. <laughs> ah, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> That's what all the world these days. People have no more manners. We're going. <sighs> Oh, come on. Okay, somebody's hungry. Uh, for Christ's sakes, what are you doing? You can't do that on a plane. Do what? I'm just feeding my baby. You are exposing yourself. I don't have to sit here and take this. Oh, can you keep that thing quiet? That thing? You mean my child? Yeah. It's all the yelling you're doing that's making her cry. No, oh, don't blame me for your poor parenting. This is why babies don't belong on planes, am I right? It's very rude. You're the one that's being rude. Hardly. I think everyone on board agrees with me. Sir. What? Please calm down. Uh, no, I'm done being calm. This baby is ruining everyone's flight. You're making a scene. I am not making a scene. I, look. Babies do not belong here. I think that you would know that, or maybe you do know that, but you don't care because you're an insensitive person. I mean, maybe that's why your baby is so loud and, and nasty and annoying, just like its mother, like baby, like mother. <laughs> How dare you speak to me and my child that way? What, it, it's okay for you to use the restroom or eat on the plane, but as soon as my baby needs to, it's suddenly the end of the world? Oh, please, I'm just saying what everyone else is thinking. No one likes you on a plane with a screaming baby, am I right? Sir, please calm down. I, I am calm. I, I, look, I cannot sit here any longer. I, I, give, I need a different seat. I already told you, this is a completely full flight. There's no seat that I can move you to. Well, you better figure something out, because I'm not sitting there anymore. I would gladly switch seats with him. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? That man has no right to speak with you like that. Oh, thanks, so we'll be okay. And I assure you that he does not speak for everyone on this plane. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. Oh, don't let him get to you, sweetie. You're right. 
We're just trying to get home to see my husband. He travels a lot for work, so I thought I'd take my little girl to see Grandma for the weekend while he's gone. She's absolutely adorable. <laughs> so what is it your husband does uh, that keeps him away so much? Oh, um, Luis runs a company called Cardona Electronics. Mm -hmm. He does IT all over the world, so it keeps him pretty busy. <laughs> Wait, did, did you just say Cardona Electronics? Yes, I did. So your husband's Luis Cardona? Yeah, why? Do you know him? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I had no idea. What a small world. Hey, you know what? If you want, you can have your seat back. I don't mind sitting there. After the big scene you caused? Oh, no. I was just, just joking when I said all those things, really. Uh, it didn't sound like you were joking. Uh, no, I mean, look, you're right, you're right. Um, look, I'm sorry that I was rude to, to you and your baby. I, I'm having a bad morning, and, and I took it out on you for no reason. I'd love to make it up to you and your little bundle of joy. Wait a second. When you were boarding, you said you had an interview later today? I do. And uh, the stress of it is probably why I was so grumpy. So once again, I am very sorry. Who's the interview with? Uh, Cardano Electronics, uh, to be in management. Ah, uh, now I get it. Oh, good, good, great. <laughs> yeah, now that you know who my husband is, you're hoping you can just act like everything you said was a joke and hope that I fall for it? So that I won't tell my husband what kind of a person you really are? No, 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 not at all, nothing like that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look, I I am a good person. Don't worry. I'll be sure to tell my husband exactly the type of person you are. Oh, and I'm very happy with my new seat. I'll be staying right here. Thank you very much. No, but, but wait, I, just one more thing. No, I think you've said quite enough. Oh, <sighs> Look what just came in. It's the new Nike Dior's. It's the only pair we have. And the commission on them is insane. Wow, these look really nice. <laughs> if anyone's gonna sell these, it's going to be me. No offense, no offense. Excuse me. Hi. Are these the new Dior Nikes? Um, this is a $15,000 pair of shoes. Might be a little over your budget. Plus, we only have a size 10 left. Yeah, well, that's actually my size. Would you mind if I try them on? Uh, look, I'm not trying to be rude. I just don't want to waste my time. I mean, we have a clearance. You know what? It's no problem at all. You can absolutely try these on. I'll grab some nylon socks for you, okay? Yeah. What are you doing? Why would you let him try those on? He clearly can't afford those. Well, appearances can be misleading. You shouldn't be so quick to judge. Look, I know who buys and who doesn't. He's gonna try them on, take a picture for his Instagram, leave like they all do. Just stop. These are so nice. By any chance you wouldn't happen to have some water? My mouth is a little parched. No! Actually, I don't. And can you please not touch these? I need to keep them clean for the next customer. You know, someone who can actually afford them. Excuse me. Hi, how you doing? Uh, do you have the new limited edition Dior Nikes? They're the ones that just came out. Oh, uh, hi, sir. Yeah, yes, we do, uh, but it's only a size 10. Oh, that's perfect. That's actually my size. Uh, may I? Yeah, hey, that's, that's great. I mean, do you want to try them on? I'd, I'd be glad to help you. No, that won't be necessary. I'm just going to uh, buy them. This is great. Hey, uh, Beautiful. I mean, I can take these to the front for you, and would you like anything? You need water or something? Yeah, water would be great. Uh, thank great. you. Yes, yes. I'll take these up front, and I'll box them up for you. I got the socks. Thank you so much for waiting. Here you Actually, are. you won't be needing those. I'm selling them to this fine gentleman right here. Is that right? That is right. And I cannot wait to put these babies on. Ching. Sorry. Great. I'll take these to the front, box them up for you, sir. Next time. Take my advice and don't try to sell to someone who can't afford expensive things. Maybe then you'll actually sell some shoes. I'm so sorry about that. I... Uh, that's okay. It's not your fault. Uh, well, we do have some new shoes that we just got in that you might like. Would you like to see them? Sure. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Here's the water, my man. 
Thank you. Oh. These shoes are gonna look great with your outfit. I mean, you've already got the sick threads. Now you got the kicks to go with it. Everyone's gonna know exactly how much money you have. Exactly. I mean, that's the goal. And you know what? You get it. I knew I liked you. Here, let's put it on this card. Got it. So it's going to be 15,678 on the credit card. So these over here are imported from Italy. They are handmade. I think they would look stunning on you. Oh, by the way, may I offer you some water? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, sure. You know, uh, the store really needs some more nice people like you. Oh, thank you. You know, I just try to treat everyone the same no matter what. Anyways, I'll be right back. All right. Hmm. It didn't go through, that's odd. Um, l let me try again. Sometimes these meters don't work. Is there a problem? It's still not going through. Uh, do, do you have a, another card? No, it's my only card. Can you please try it again? Okay. Hey, look, I really need these shoes. Just want to take a picture, post it on Instagram, you know, so people think I got money. Look, I'm sorry, but it, it's still not going through. But it, it, don't worry, don't worry, you can pay with cash. Right, there's a bank right next no, to you. No, no, I don't have that kind of cash in my bank account. I mean, that's why I use the credit card. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, you're wearing an Armani suit. You have to have the money. Hey, look, I, I borrowed this from a, a friend just so I could take a picture in it. Do you still think I could try these on? At least I can get a pic for the gram. So, oh, hey, you're back. How'd it go? Didn't. His credit card got declined. He took a photo and he left. Ugh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll buy them. Oh my gosh, really? I mean, yes, of course. Uh, let me go box everything up for you. Look, wait, no offense. But if my customer's credit card didn't go through, there's no way yours is going to. Credit card? Who said anything about a credit card? I'll actually be paying cash. Where did you get that money? Well, I actually own my own million dollar business. I'm just coming from the gym, which is why I look like this. Oh, by the way, I'll take a size 10 in these as well. <laughs> if that's okay. Yes, of course. Uh, please take a seat and I'll box everything up, okay? Yeah, thank you. Hey, remember that Appearances can be misleading. Don't be so quick to judge. And maybe next time, you'll sell some shoes. Help! Help! Someone! Did you hear that? No. And you know why? Because I still got five minutes left on my lunch break. Someone, please help! Man, are you seriously not going to do anything? Relax, rookie. We're off the clock. Man, I got it. Rookie. Hey! Stop right there! <sighs> Sir, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. Did he take anything? No, thanks to you. Jensen, come on, go catch him. Uh, uh, I ain't chasing him on a full stomach. That's how you cramp up. All right, then you stay here with this gentleman and I'll go catch him. Uh, forget about it. The new chief is briefing the squad in 10 minutes and I'm not trying to be stuck working a dead case. But it's our job. Not when it's on our lunch break, it's not. You're not gonna let him get away. Look, that guy is all the way to China by now. And besides, I don't get paid enough to be chasing some punk, Pops. You're at least gonna file a report though, right? Not a chance. What? Yeah. You, you can't just do nothing? Watch me. Just, you can't pretend like that didn't just happen. Let me explain it to you real slow, rookie. If we file a report, I don't catch the guy. It drops my rest rate, and then I'll be stuck working night shift. It's a lose-lose. Nah, I, I don't accept that. I've always believed in helping people no matter what. That's the whole reason why I became a cop. Uh, well, good luck to you trying to save the world, rookie. I'm sure it'll work real well with you. I'm sorry about that. He, he's just... Yeah, he's very unhelpful. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it. 
All that matters is that you're safe. Regardless of what he said, we want to take you to the police station. We'll file a report. You give us a description. Maybe we'll find the guy. Absolutely. We just can't sit back and let the criminals take over the neighborhood. That's right. We're good. The police station just up a few blocks. I'm, I'm gonna help you get there. Oh, okay. Come on in. Don't be shy. I appreciate punctuality. It's a sign of a dedicated officer. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm just really eager to help out the community any way I can. It's the reason why I became a cop in the first place. That's good. Have a seat. Thank you. I hope I'm not slowing you down too much. I heard your partner talk about a big briefing with the new chief. I don't want you getting in any trouble because of me. <laughs> it's okay. I took this job to help people like you. I'm the brown nose the chief. <laughs> It's a shame, you know. I've lived in this neighborhood all my life. Used to be a slice of paradise. Not now. Everything's coming apart at the seams. Criminals are getting tougher every day. I mean, we're working on it. I know you are. <laughs> You're one of the good ones. It's the other ones, like your partner. That's not helping things. OK, let's get started. Is everyone here? Everyone except Officer Robbins, sir. He isn't big on punctuality. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate for Officer Robbins. The old way of doing business around here is going to change. Crime rates are soaring, and it's up to us to bring those numbers down. As such, I'm going to create a new unit that's going to be focused on community outreach and protecting the vulnerability of elderly citizens in the area. This is an important and very personal project for me. Just last month, my 84-year-old mother was viciously attacked and robbed in broad daylight. She did not survive. Really sorry for your loss, sir. That would have never happened on my beat. My mother lived in this neighborhood most of her life. It used to be a beacon of hope in the city. But unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. The new unit's goal is to restore the citizens' faith in what we do. So my first order of business will be to name one of you to lead that very unit. Allow me to say, sir, I've always believed in reaching out directly to the people of this community especially the elderly who are more vulnerable. Protecting them is actually why I became a police officer. All right, thank you. Robbins, you're late for the brief with the new chief. Couldn't be avoided. I was helping Mr. Tompkins. Mm-hmm. I can take it from here. You better hurry. The new boss doesn't do tardiness. <sighs> yes, sir. Is it all right if I leave you with Sarge? He'll file your report. Of course, sir. Hey, thank you for all your help. It's my pleasure. I'm just sorry we couldn't catch the guy. Oh, you would have if your partner hadn't abandoned you. Yeah, maybe next time. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Let's get you squared away. After reviewing all of your personal files, I am very confident I know the right person to lead it. Officer Jen. Oh, you must be the elusive Officer Robbins. Yes, sir. Sorry, Mike. Have a seat. Glad you could fit this briefing into your schedule. My apologies. There was a gentleman almost being robbed about a block away. I was just trying to help. It's no excuse for missing our new chief's first briefing. A good cop knows how to do his job effectively and be punctual. He's new. Four weeks out of the academy, but I'm working on getting him into shape. Good to hear, Jensen. Listen to your mentors, Officer Robbins is the fastest way to learn how to do this job right. Yes, sir, I will. So as I was saying before I was interrupted, I made my decision as to who should be the new leader of the unit. Chief, the gentleman you're waiting for, he's there now. Perfect, please send him in. I've asked my mother's neighbor and my former little league coach to come to speak to us on behalf of the community. I want you all to show the highest level of respect to this man. He's earned it. And I want you all to listen to his concern. 
He's lived here for a long, long time. I think it'd be good to hear from a local to see how we can improve the police force. Charles, look at you, all grown up. <laughs> Looking sharp in that uniform. Great tenure, Mr. Pumpkins, great tenure. Same here, same here. Oh, Officer Robbins. It's nice seeing you again. You know, that officer is one of the good ones, Charles. Is that so? Yes. Oh, look who's trying to fly away once again. Uh, sir, it's not like that. And about what happened earlier, I... Yeah. What happened earlier? You know, that officer, he avoided all of my calls for help. Even let the guy who attacked me get away. Come again? It's like he didn't even care. He said he was off the clock. You know, if Officer Robbins hadn't stepped in to help me, I could have been hurt or worse. It's not like that, Chief. And I, I didn't hear him. I swear I didn't. Nonsense. He heard everything I said. I also heard him tell his partner, don't bother about filling a report. Is that so? Officer Robbins, were you late because you were helping Mr. Tompkins? Uh, yes, sir. I've always been a deep believer in trying to help people, so I had a... See if the situation was safe. Well, thank you, Officer Robbins, for making my decision easy. If you put in the same amount of effort, I would like to appoint you to be the new leader of the unit. Wait, 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 but, but, but sir, he's just a rookie and he's not even, uh, he's not- Officer Jensen, you'll be assigned the night shift for the next three months. What do you say, Officer Robbins? Wow, uh, yeah, I accept it, yes. Thank you so much. Ridiculous. Finally. It's about time. You gotta be kidding me. You're a delivery person? Yeah. Really sorry about the delay. I, I was here on time. I just, but... But nothing. My dinner is probably cold and stale by now. Thanks to you. It, it's just that I couldn't uh, go up the steps to your door. You're blaming me now? No. No. That's not what I meant. Just like I thought. Dinner is ruined because the restaurant decided to hire a cripple instead of a normal person. Well, don't give me that look. It's not me that you should be mad at. The restaurant set you up for failure. Who, who are you calling? The restaurant. But if you do that, I'll get fired. That's not my problem, lady. Uh, wait, please. I will reimburse you for the food. You don't have to make that call. Please, I, I really need this job. You have no idea what it's like for a disabled person. It, it was hard enough finding any place that would hire me to begin with, and believe me, I tried. If I get fired, I'll- 200 bucks. I don't have that much on me. Well then. I guess you better start applying for unemployment. Please, I'm begging you not to make that call. What if you were in my shoes? Hmm? How would you want to be treated? But I'm not in your shoes. My legs work. Just think about it first, please. Okay. I'll think about it. Yeah, hi. I'd like to file a complaint against one of your delivery drivers. <laughs> you, it is way too early for this. What do you want? I was fired from my job. Oh yeah? Did you call and complain about me? I sure did. 
I paid for your food and you said that- I said I would think about it. So I thought about it and decided to call anyway. How could you do that? Okay, you might think that I'm just being mean to you, but really, I'm just looking out for all the other customers whose orders you were bound to screw up. Okay, someone like you shouldn't be a delivery driver. Do you think I want to be a delivery driver? That was the only job I could get. Once again, that sounds a lot like a you problem, not a me problem. I suffered through 30 job interviews and 30 rejections before I landed that job. 30. Do you know how that feels? To be judged for something that's completely out of your control. No, I don't. Because I thought ahead and I got a degree. Maybe you should have done the same. I did do that. I have an MBA, and yet the only job I could land was that delivery job. Despite my qualifications, despite my drive, despite my work ethic, all an employer sees is my disability. Do you know how crushing that is? I'm judged and dismissed as lesser than because I'm in a chair. Well, you know, I would love to stand here and continue listening to your sob stories, but unlike you, I got a job to go to. So if you could kindly get off my property. Did you ever hear that saying? Treat others the way you want to be treated? Oh, please, spare me the platitudes. This is a tough world for tough people, so don't go blaming me for your failures. Now get lost before I call the cops. I'm afraid when you fell, you broke your L4 and L5 vertebrae. I can feel my legs. Your injuries have left you paralyzed from the waist down. Paralyzed? I'm afraid so. I know it is scary to hear that. And you are going to have to make some big life changes. But it could have been worse. Over the next year, Rick's injury forces him to see the world in a whole new way. Even simple things, like getting to work on time, becomes a struggle. Eventually, Rick even gets fired from his job. Despite his degree and qualifications, employers just couldn't get past Rick's disability. No one wanted to hire a man in a wheelchair. Almost a year after his accident, Rick finally finds a place that's willing to hire him. Hey. Delivery for Robin's Nest. You're 30 minutes late. I, I know, uh, someone parked in the handicapped spot. The only other spot I could find was like three blocks away. I don't wanna hear excuses. What I want is a full refund for our order. But the food is still more than good. If you ask for a refund, they're gonna blame me. Good, maybe they should. No, please, I can't afford to lose this job. You have no idea what it's like. Is everything all right out here? What are you doing here? I'm sorry, do I know you? This guy is 30 minutes late with our lunch and has the nerve to try and guilt me into not complaining about it. Beth, it's okay. It's not okay. We should at least get a refund. Tell you what, why don't you take the food into the conference room and tell everyone lunch is here? I'll handle this, okay? <sighs> I'm so sorry about Beth. And don't worry, no one's calling to complain. I understand what it's like, trust me. Don't you recognize me? You delivered food to my house once and I- Oh, it's you. How did you end up in a chair? I had an accident, slipped, broke my back. 
I'm really sorry to hear that. How about you? How did you end up working at such a nice place? Well, I don't just work here. I own the place. See, after I lost that delivery job, I couldn't find another place willing to hire me because of... So I figured I'd cut out the middleman and start my own company. And it's going pretty well so far. Wow. Good for you. Really, that's very impressive. You know, we're actually hiring. And we don't discriminate against people with disabilities. You would consider hiring me? After what I did to you? Why? Because it's how I always wanted to be treated when I was in your position. <laughs>